Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Welch with Paragon Chiropractic, and this is Abigail. Hello. Thanks for stopping by to check out our hip hinge video. So what actually is a hip hinge, and why is it so important that when you go to get up and down out of a chair, when you bend to wash your face or brush your teeth, or you stoop down to pick something up off of the ground, why is it so important that you do a hip hinge? Well, obviously, if you don't, you'll hurt your back. We've all been told throughout the years that when you go to lift something, you want to use your knees or lift with your back, okay? Well, if you have knee pain or back pain, that's why. That's the incorrect way to do it. What we want to do is we want the hips to actually be the hinge of the bending motion so that when you stoop down, the hips hinge, not the low back and not the knees. Here's a simple experiment or a test that you can do on yourself. Take a straight edge, all right, and put it against, go ahead and do that, put it against the back of your head, between your shoulder blades and on your bottom, and then go ahead and do a squat. Good, and go ahead and do another one. And you'll see as she does that, the straight edge stays in contact with her head, her back, and her, and her bottom. Go ahead and just bend at the waist. You'll see if she does that incorrectly, it pulls away. That's hurting her back. Go ahead and use the knees now as. And you'll see it starts to pull away from the thoracic spine and using the knees. That's also hurting the back. Okay, I'll take that. So if you were able to do that, congratulations. Um, you've got a license to squat, I guess. Go out into the world and do all the hip hinging that you want to do. If you weren't able to do that, uh, you can actually relearn how to do that. I'll show you. Take a board. And this is about a half inch. This is probably about an inch and a half. We'll use the half inch board and put it down on the ground. Hook your heels. Take this and hold that just like you were. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a chair or the arm of a sofa or a wall or a countertop or something and uh, here, let's slide this up a little bit. Now go ahead and just slide back and try and touch the chair with your bottom. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that again. And slide back. And that's what we want to see. So if you're able to do that that way, uh, great. Now, I will tell you that if you're finding that you have trouble doing that or it's causing pain, stop. If you're having trouble doing it, what that means is that there's something that's not working right. A hip, a knee, a shoulder, and you're, you're basically going to be, it's going to be almost like learning how to play a song wrong on a piano. If you live in the Phoenix area, I feel free or feel free to give me a call, stop by. Um, I'd be happy to do a hip hinge evaluation on you and give you a few pointers and show you how to do that. If you don't live in this area, you can always drop me an email, telephone call, a letter. I'll see if I can help you uh, by sending you emails and links and things along those lines. Or I can help you find somebody in your uh, area to, to help you. So, thanks again for stopping by and uh, happy hip